In this particular video, we are going to cover about the ch own command that basically means change ownership command. Okay, so before starting, uh, let me tell you the brief or a little bit of introduction about this command. Basically, it means what as the name suggests that change ownership. What does it basically mean? Uh, let's take a scenario of a corporate world, okay, in which you are working in a team and there are people with different roles, okay, and if you have access of some kind of file and uh, you want to share that that file to some another team okay so in this case you can use the ch own command okay like there will be a, a one particular group for uh, one team and you want to give that access to some other uh, team member or some other uh, group member you can say okay so it basically means changing the ownership of a file or transferring the ownership uh, to some other people or to some other user okay so we will start this uh, okay so but before starting uh, I will tell you to uh, just uh, set up your root account okay but because we will use root account and also one another user to perform this uh, uh, particular ch on command okay so to set up a root command first of all what you have to you have to just uh, change the password if you don't know so enter the password command and the username that is a root and you have to just use a sudo and and now you can enter the new password which you want okay password written successfully and uh, one more thing what we have to do I will add uh, another user add user and I will give the name as a uh, Avinash okay so enter a password I will not provide any kind of information okay yes okay so user has been created now what you will do first log in as a root in this terminal uh, wrong password I enter wrong password yeah now I am, I am logged in as a root user here you can see root and now again I will open up one, another terminal in which I will log in with the credential of Avinash uh, I hope it is visible to you now yeah it should be visible to you guys so now what we have to do uh, we have to just log in as a different user that is a uh, uh, Avinash okay just enter the password of that particular user uh, test uh, Avinash okay so here we you can see uh, I have uh, another user in this terminal and uh, another user in this terminal okay so this is the root user and this is the Avinash user okay So now both the user are in the home directory. Let me do here also same thing. Okay. So both the users are in the home directory. Okay. So now what I have to do to see the permissions or uh, to see anything, uh, permission of a file or directory or anything else which you want. What what command you enter? Just uh, you enter ls hyphen l y l. Just a long listing of files you can say like that okay so here you can see we have three directories and these are the some permissions based on those directory that is read write execute read and then for others there is no any permissions okay but this, these are regarding what you can say these are regarding your um, users like this is the users directory but we, we don't have to work on this I will work on some different directories or different files okay so what I will do, I will just create a one file that is touch file.txt and I will do ls l and that particular file name. So here you can see in this case, uh, if you have uh, watched our previous videos on permissions, okay, so I think you will get it easily. So these three represents the permissions of users and this is for groups and these are from others user so here you can see uh, groups has only read permission and other others also has only read permissions okay but uh, uh, this particular user has a read and write permission okay so who is the owner right now the owner right now is root root is the owner right now okay so now what uh, you have to suppose or you have to think like that you have to share this file.txt to someone else to Avinash okay this user you have to share now what will happen let's do ls and I will try to access these file 
so I hope I can access because others have read permissions so let me hit enter this command so here you can see we have not got any error like permission denied so now what I will do I will just uh, add one line in this particular file hi this is root user control D to save okay and now again I will try to access and here you can see I am able to access this file but if I will go to change the permission in this particular file then at that time what will happen we will get an error of permission denied why why we will get error the reason behind is this that we don't have execute permissions okay so now what we have to do uh, if I will try to add some extra lines in this uh, file.txt so how we can do file.txt let's see if we are able to add or not so here you can see permission denied so okay as I said earlier like if we don't have permission like execute permission so to change uh, to change uh, in the file okay so to do this uh, we have two options one is change ownership just for one particular user or simply add execute permission for others using uh, ch uh, command okay uh, change permission like ch mode command okay you can use uh, that command to change the permission for all the users but uh, that is not a useful case uh, or that is not a best scenario because you don't want to share that file to all the users okay so that's why ch own command came into this role and that's why we are using it so how you can do it just use ch own and the whatever the username you want to uh, uh, here our username is uh, this particular username is I, uh, Avinash so Avinash and I will just uh, provide the file name and done now I'll do ls hyphen l and here you can see Avinash is now the uh, new owner of that particular file so ls hyphen l let me do, do one more time yeah here you can see Avinash is the new, new owner sorry and uh, now if I will try to change in this particular file then obviously I will be able to change here I will add just uh, this line has been added by Avinash control D to save and again I will try to access and here you can see this line has been added by which user Avinash okay we can also uh, use multiple options with uh, ch own command like ch own hyphen c for uh, uh, what you can say for Im informations okay like it will display just like uh, information like uh, uh, permission has been transformed from this user to this user let's do this uh, with this again let's hope it works or not let's see uh, ch own hyphen c and I will provide the username that is uh, Avinash and file okay it's not showing me where do we okay owners your file dot t is to be retained as avinash okay here you can see we have used iphone v for verbus it just displays the information mm. yeah it's still avinash okay so no worries so in this way ch own command works okay so i hope you like this video and i hope you got the concept of how ch own works okay so that's all for today's video